We say all praises be to the Creator, all power to His people. In the name of Yahshua, the Black Revolutionary Messiah, I greet you, my brothers and sisters, in the spirit of truth and the words of peace. Shalom Aleichem. Give a special salute to the Black Messiahs. Our motto is stop waiting for a Savior and be one. Stop waiting for a Savior and be one. This morning, dealing with the scriptures, first coming from the gospel according to Matthew, 5th chapter, 14th verse. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush, but on a candlestick, and it gives light to them that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Coming next from the Gospel of Luke, according to Luke, 19th chapter, beginning with the 39th verse. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke your disciples. And he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when he was come near, he held, beheld the city and wept over it. If you had known, even you, at least in this day, the things which, were, which belong unto your peace, and now they are hid from your eyes. Lastly, coming from the letter of Paul to the Romans. 10th chapter, beginning with the 14th verse. How then shall they call on him and whom they have not believed, and shall they believe in him or who they not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring good tidings of good things. This morning, brothers and sisters, Dealing with the subject, the power of propaganda. The power of propaganda. Now, a lot of times, brothers and sisters, when we, in our attempts to be humble, in our attempts to be meek in our attempts to say it ain't all about me we don't talk about what we do we don't broadcast of what we do because many times we are afraid that people will question our motives and they will say oh he's just trying to be on TV she's just trying to be seen they just clout chasing. So we remain quiet. So when we pass from this earth, nobody knows there is no record of what we did. And people are perfectly fine from you being erased from history. See, many times, brothers and sisters, they like what you do. They just hate the fact that it's you doing it because if the thought, if the idea had come out of another mouth, it would have been a great idea. But because you are the one who brought the light, they would rather have our people walk in darkness. One of the scriptures people point to when saying, let your work speak for itself, and you ain't got to broadcast it. Wait a minute. And they use this scripture coming from the Gospel of Luke. I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. 
Meaning that if the multitudes didn't praise, the stones would cry out. That's what Yahshua told the Pharisees. However, let's look at what exactly what says. I tell you that if these, these should hold their peace. See, we forget the if. If these should hold their peace. See, Yahshua didn't tell the people to be quiet. He said, if they hold their peace. See, sometimes in scriptures, there are little words we gloss over to prove a point. It says, if they should hold their peace. Let's focus on if. If the people need to know the good that you do. The people need to know the good that you do. So this scripture is saying that you cannot stop an idea has come. You can't hold what's good. You can't hide your light. But if you try, the stones would cry out. If, if, Yahshua said, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men put a light, uh, light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it gives light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father is in heaven. See, that's the part. Let your light shine before men, but make sure you are giving credit to the Most High. That's the catch. Let your light so shine before men, broadcast it, but always make sure you're giving credit to the Most High. That's the catch. That's the catch. One of the... We have to understand brothers and sisters the value of propaganda the value of propaganda the value of putting forth your best efforts grabbing the people's attention the most brilliant of us were master propagandists they knew how to spread a message. They knew how to uh, 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 electrify the people. That's why J. Edgar Hoover wanted to prevent the rise of a Messiah. And some people throw in, because he was talking about black people, a black Messiah who could electrify the youth. They know the value of propaganda. The value of when people see you doing things, they want to be like that. When they see you walking around proud, when they see you walking around with a book, when they see you walking around with your African gear on, they, they, the, the wicked know that's part of propaganda and the people will begin to like that. They knew that in the year of hip hop, 18, eight, um, 1988, 1988 through 1992, they begin to see the power of propaganda. The power of when black people begin to see black people talk that black stuff and where did the sheikis and the African medallions, the enemy knew how powerful that was. So in 1992, after the LA rebellions, they replaced it with gangster rap. You want to know the a master propagandist. Study Marcus Garvey. I'm holding up Race First Tony, by Dr. Tony Martin. But read Marcus Garvey's works. Read Marcus Garvey's works. Read Philosophy and Opinions. 
read Marcus Garvey um, message to the people. He was a master of propaganda. He knew how important it was for to be bombastic. I think uh, W. B. Du Bois accused him of being bombastic. He knew the power of accenting the positive and downplaying the negative. He knew the power of seeing uh, the UNIA soldiers marching in their uniforms. He knew the power of having a red, black, and green flag. He knew the power of propaganda, so he was able to uh, organized anywhere between 2 million and 11 million people worldwide because he knew the value of propaganda. Propaganda, brothers and sisters, is everything. You don't have to hide what you're doing. You should tell the world what you're doing, but giving credit to the Most High. You know I don't use the Pauline Gospels, the Gospel according to Paul, too much. Because some of y'all be quoting Paul and think you're quoting Jesus or Yahshua. So I don't use the epistles too much, but I want to pull this one. Paul, the ambassador, Master Paul was a master propagandist. He was a master propagandist, spreading the gospel to the Gentiles, the Greeks and the Romans. He knew he had to master propaganda. Letter to the Romans, he said, How shall they call on him and whom they have not believed? And shall they believe in him who they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach? except they be sent, as it is written. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Gospel means good news. Gospel means good news. Propaganda. Propaganda. Everybody needs proper, proper Ganda, positive, proper Ganda. That's why we're doing the Shiki Durham song. When our vision is to have black people, we're going to call it the Shiki Durham. Now, you call it Bull City, you call it Dirty Durham, but there's another dynasty rising, the Shiki Durham. And we're going to start it this summer, beginning May 19th, Malcolm X's birthday. So the vision is for when people ride down the streets in Durham and go to the mall and go to the park and go to the store, they see black people walking around with the shikis and African medallions and crowns and kufis and books under their arms and walking around with books on their arms and just shikis. Watch how the climate, the culture of Durham changes when people start asking, why are these people walking around in African clothes and carrying books? Why are they doing this? Propaganda. The power a propaganda. Everything starts with an idea. Their idea becomes part of propaganda. We have to have positive propaganda, brothers and sisters, if we're going to change our reality. Yahshua said, let your light shine, so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. As always, we leave you with the Black Messiah motto, stop waiting for a Savior and be one. Shalom.